Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, episode 25, part 1. We are close to the end of this season. Very exciting things are happening. So I'm ready to get right into this episode. And it is called Doorway of Darkness. Okay, <laughs> I guess. We're going into the void, into the darkness. Oh no, I can't take it. All right, Hello, he's in that everybody. belly. I literally forgot. How could I forget? Damn it! How are they gonna get out of here though? There's such like stone walls How in there. How do I know you're not envy in disguise? How do I know you're not envy? You little runt! <laughs> well, you call it a little runt, you jerk! Okay, okay, now you know. You. <laughs> Check this out. Oh my gosh! And that's the lieutenant's car. But how could Gluttony's belly be this huge? I, I don't no know. Idea. That's his power. He's but a munculus. I don't know. This is a very pleasant place. I wish there was some way I could contact him. Just scream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was... Oh no. Telepathy. Yeah. Good luck with that. A wall. There has to be a wall. It there just keeps on be. going. No how you just this, if we keep heading straight, <laughs> Is Al going to meet up with them somehow? By a stray dog or something. Uh, <laughs> maybe she got eaten by a stray dog. <laughs> I was joking. She got a disease when she was a baby and it kept her from growing all the way. No. They nursed her back to health after her mother abandoned her. Oh. Since then, she's been almost like a sister to me. That's so cute. A part of my family. We've been through so much together. She's always been with me. <laughs> Now I'm about to cry for this panda bear. You mean you're gonna help me try to find her? Oh. He's a good person. He's kind of good. He feels compassion for her. Oh no. I can't make it. Lane, get up. Enough when you collapse in the street, but here, get up. Come on. I can't split up. I'm seriously leaving. He's like, you're not dragging me down. No. He couldn't do it. There's way too many people I'd be letting down by dying here. We've got a meal. Are they really? That should do it. Oh no, ma'am. <laughs> and if I even think about giving up, I have Al's iron fist to look forward to. Is that? I thought so. I should have known it'd be you guys. Mm. Please show me the way out of here. Right. I was like, maybe Envy knows how to get out. <laughs> This isn't the first time you've been through this. How do they know? Gluttony is a failed experiment by our father to create his own portal of truth. Really? He's a what? This place, it exists somewhere. You can never get out. Reality and truth. Oh All no, ma'am. do is wait here to die. Oh no, ma'am. We're getting out. Oh, and if the Fuhrer is on your side, then I'm guessing you're the ones behind Ishval. Oh, Ishval! You remember no. the incident that started the war, right? Military officer accidentally shot an Ishvalan child. Yep. And the one that proudly pulled the trigger was none other than yours truly. That's so sick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, talk about invigorating. Oh, in the best Crazy. part. You're the one who turned Scar into a murderer. Wait, it wait, wait. You. So Envy. You're the reason Winry's parents were killed. You're the one to blame. Wait, at the pause. <laughs> at the worst moment possible. So like, Envy is not the guy from jail. <laughs> who was that person that squared up with um? What's his name? Scar. With Scar. He was there at the at the war too. Is he a homunculus too? <laughs> I've literally been asking this the whole season. We'll never get an answer. Radio silence. Radio silence. <laughs> he didn't budge. No. Okay, it's a homunculus. That's how you want it. Ed, get back! I'm gonna show you two boys something neat before we die. Okay. Oh. Oh no! I don't like that. I'm sorry, but I do not like this. 
I have tripophobia and that's disgusting. I cannot. What do I do? I'm scared. I don't want father to be mad at me. Who's your father? Will you take me with you? Will you take me to meet your father? Eh? He'll be happy since you're a human sacrifice. Oh, sure, right. That's why he'll want to meet me. And I guess I'll find out what that means. Why are you bothering to let me live? Because, because you're a you sacrifice. Because you weren't going to learn your lesson if you're dead, soldier. So all this time, you've been sitting back and laughing And that's why this problems. war even happened. I saw you at General Hughes's funeral. My hands were trembling with anger. How can you even say such a thing? You have a child, too. You're speaking of Selene? Hmm. He's more well-behaved than that. Selene will never work as a point of weakness in my life. But you, on the other hand... You're, you're not being transferred. I need you to take this. <laughs> Am I being reassigned, sir? That's correct. Hmm? I'd like to look at them. Are you sure that these are my orders? Where are they sending you? First Lieutenant Riza Hawkeye is to report for duty at Central Command Center as personal assistant to Fuhrer Bradley. It's as simple as that. She'll personal assistant? From now on. You have the tackiest sense of taste. Ah, oh, come on. I think it looks pretty damn sharp myself. Can we take him? I mm -hmm. doubt it. He is mm -hmm. a giant monster. All that matters now is filling him with some pain. No. But this is the way. It can't be. They're right under them. Your father is living in Central. <sighs> ah! <laughs> that was the end. Oh no! I just, mur I just, freaking murdered the computer. Oh my. Am I? Ew. Okay. Um. What? Girl. Whoa child anyway so <laughs> i i i i i don't want to look at nb's natural state whatever that is i don't want to see it it makes me itch it's probably not that bad for you guys but like it's literally horrible for me i cannot look at that i'm sorry uh so i will not be looking at it uh <laughs> because i will itch i hope they kill envy in the next episode because i literally don't have time i literally don't have time for it i don't have time to be looking like i'm a crazy person because i'm not uh it's just really i just really cannot look at that i'm so sorry i'm so sorry about it but not really um yeah so fear bradley is up in here um is up in here like ahead of everyone he's ahead of everyone uh we thought we had him he had us and he's got ever everyone on his team everyone knows everyone knows about this and it's literally been happening since the beginning of time so like i mean like um there's nothing we can do <laughs> uh yeah and um now that they've taken hawkeye and he's just, she's gonna be his personal assistant weird it's getting weird <laughs> um yeah that's that's great um maybe she can infiltrate somehow there's literally too many people who are on his side though so i don't know how they'll find a way i believe in them what are they gonna do with mustang they can't do anything with him. They can't kill him. But they're going to sacrifice him. Sacrifice, which I equate to killing someone. <laughs> so I'm like, you have to wait to kill him. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Because they have to sacrifice him. And now they're bringing Al to the father. And we're probably going to see the father, who he actually is. And why did they do that cut that one time of their actual father? <sighs> Does not uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> What's up with that? Maybe that's his like twin brother, an experiment that he did. And they're still stuck in this belly and with that thing. And it's just all disgusting. <laughs> and this is supposed to be an imitation of the, like the truth 
door thing but it was failed so i'm like why would you keep around a failed experiment because something like this could happen now one of your homunculuses have been caught they've been stuck and they're probably gonna die in here i hope he hope he does which like i thought it was a girl at first but like at the beginning i thought it was a guy um so i guess envy is a guy envy is not the same guy though as um the guy in jail which like a whole a whole mystery <laughs> a literal whole mystery because i don't maybe maybe that was him i don't know i don't know <laughs> no one i don't know anything uh i don't think that was him cuz why would he be in jail there would be no reason for envy to be in jail and not be able to get out. So I'm guessing that guy is not homunculus though. The guy in jail. Where is he? He like broke out of jail, didn't he? At some point he broke out. <laughs> it's been so long ago that I don't remember what happened to him. He's literally plotting behind the scenes, I feel like. He's an evil character. He's the one that was actually up there with Scar, wasn't he? Cause, like, that can't be Envy. Because it's not even Envy's, like, style of dress wear. Like, the white jacket, or the white shirt, and the black pants, I think that's what he wore. Envy's more of, like, a little crop top action, you know? So, like, yeah, that's not Envy. Things are getting out of hand and they need to be stopped. So they better be stopped soon because some bad things are going to happen if not. Um, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this episode with me. This was Full Moto Alchemist Brotherhood, episode 25, Doorway of Darkness. If you guys want to see early and uncut reactions to Full Moto Alchemist Brotherhood, head over to my Patreon we are in season two right now, part two. So go check that out. I'm also uploading two more times per week over there on Patreon under the twice a week tier. So go check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode with me and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.